Prepare to explore. Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Bettyblue.com.au. Shop anywhere, anytime. SAFM News Briefing. Hi there, I'm Alicia McFarlane. There are concerns falling inflation isn't helping to ease the cost of living crisis. It's dropped to 5.6%, which could stop the need for another rate increase next week. But federal opposition leader Peter Dutton says it's not having an impact on household bills. I hope the Prime Minister can honour his commitment to reduce power prices by $275 a year. It was a commitment he made here in Western Australia and across the country. In fact, on 97 occasions before the election... William Tyrrell's foster mother maintains her innocence over the little boy's disappearance. According to Nine, detectives believe there's enough evidence to put forward charges, but her lawyers say they're yet to be briefed and are calling for disclosure of the evidence. Former Sydney school teacher Chris Dawson has been found guilty of having a sexual relationship with an underage student in the 80s. He pleaded not guilty to one count of carnal knowledge and will be sentenced in September. A passenger has died and a 14-year-old driver is in hospital under police guard following a crash in Victoria's north. The teen was behind the wheel of a car that collided with a truck in Loxley this morning. Gambling ads during live sport broadcasts could be banned within three years as part of 31 recommendations from a parliamentary inquiry. Green Senator Sarah Hansen-Young wants the reform to come on even earlier. A three-year delay before uh, implementing a ban on gambling advertising means three more years of pain and suffering for those that get caught up and have a gambling addiction. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. In sport, Brisbane has ruled out Dane Zorko from tomorrow's round 16 opener with Richmond. Coach Chris Fagan says they're taking a cautious approach with the former captain who's missed the past three matches through injury and suspension. He's fit to play and he's chomping at the bit to play, but um, I think we'll give him another week at this point in time. And we'll need to wait till the toss before learning the final 11s heading into the opening day of the second Ashes Test at Lords tonight. Nathan Lyon is set to become the first frontline bowler in history to play 100 consecutive tests. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. Showers becoming less likely this afternoon across the limestone coast, then down to 5 degrees. Just 12 the top tomorrow, more rain. For the best sporting podcasts from Australia and around the world, lift your game with Listener. Download the app now and search Sport to listen.